guys welcome back to bl world drama your go-to source for the juiciest scandals in the world of bl and gls from trending hashtags to sizzling social media drama i've got it all join me as i dive deep into the lives of your favorite stars with exclusive updates secrets and interviews that will keep you hooked subscribe now ring the bell and let's dive into the glitz the glam and the scandalous world of bl and gls so let's get right into it so idf take action now was trending yesterday and it is in trending because of so many things like the friend stands want friend out of idol factory while the becky stands want becky out of idol factory while the shippers want friend and becky to stay put because they believe that idol factory is the best home for them because they feel like they haven't accumulated enough fame to go anywhere and they do believe like whatever agency that they do decide to go to like there is no agency in thailand that has the interest of jail couples but we are seeing like a lot of these agencies right now actually promoting or doing much more about jail content so yeah we still don't know we will wait and see if it is actually an one off or two off time thing or they will actually focus more resources on gl shows now they do feel like there is no agencies that would actually put them forward the way idol factory has because they said that in idol factory like they are the biggest thing now idol factory will do whatever to actually take care of them and they will always have work when they are in idol factory and other fans are saying that we have seen other artists who have been able to go out there without management and they are actually doing like so much better and it isn't it's not necessarily the case and it also might be the case because i feel like it's different for different people like for yin and wo like they don't have any management that i know of and because they went out or they didn't renew their contracts and they haven't been able to have any work until just a few days ago when they had the whole thing i think jack and joker but they had been away from the entertainment industry for so long that they turned out to be influencers brand influencers and brand ambassadors and youtubers and weren't constantly working and acting i don't know if that was their personal choice or because they just couldn't be able to get a job because they had no agency now for mew's case it is a different case because now he's not under any management and he his family is actually like running a lot of his work and he has been able to be busy and working back to back and so it is different for every case but we know of me like he has been in the entertainment industry for so long he has made very good genuine connections so probably that's why he's like booked and busy so for friend and becky again i don't feel like it will be the right time for them to actually like have no management they can't choose to leave idol factory but i don't feel like it will be okay for them to actually decide to go solo right now they might they should leave idol factory if that is what is best for them and they should be able to join like a different agency and actually like work from there but now they should be working more on making sure that they do make friends with these producers they do make friends with these writers they do make friends with these directors like genuine professional relationships and not just friends relationship because sometimes i friendship a friendship and a professional relationship are different and i'm sure they know the difference so i'm hoping like 
even if they make friends friends but they also make sure they make a working professional relationship so when the time comes that they have to live and stand alone they can still actually be able to work so now it was also because fans were saying that idol factory doesn't support like friend and becky like as much on social media platforms and most of the friend stands were saying that friend especially isn't being supported the most because when she has like solo projects like idol factory doesn't even post them or doesn't even spend time to bring awareness to her projects so they feel like she's like lacking a lot of what do i say like her face isn't seen a lot on idol factory social media posts and they would like that to change now they also say that idol factory doesn't appreciate like what the fans do for the girls like they when this competition comes this award comes and fans spend like way too much money way too much time to make sure that friend and becky do emerge winners like idol factory isn't even appreciative about it like they they don't even tweet about their win and all that like they just ignore the whole thing now in that case i don't know because i do believe like if you come out because i know it is your hard and money it is your time and you would actually want to say a thank you and i do believe like from the tweets i saw like even becky and friend themselves don't even say thank you for like when fans make sure that they do win these awards and a lot of people were saying that the girls don't actually need to be appreciative and tell them thank you for winning these awards but idol factory does and that doesn't make sense to me because the award is not for idol factory the award is mostly for friend and becky because if friend and becky do win these awards and if these awards are actually major awards they would actually get them jobs but maybe you are winning them awards that are not actually very major that's why idol factory doesn't say a thank you because they do believe like it doesn't change a thing like it won't be able to earn them any money so maybe probably that's why i wouldn't know why and i wouldn't understand why you would actually want a thank you from idol factory but you wouldn't need a thank you from friend and becky that to me just doesn't make sense now another thing that they were saying about idol factory tech action now is the fact that they wanted like idol factory to protect like their actors more and their privacy more because of like like the way fans like always find out ways of going to the airport and taking pictures of these actors of friend and becky even as no matter what time of the morning so they feel like like idol factory should like protect their actors more now for the airport thing i always say like if these agencies or these managers did didn't start the whole thing like like go and say goodbye to these actors or be there at the arrival of these actors to actually like welcome them into their into your countries or send them off from your countries like this whole thing wouldn't happen like the yes there will be like a few people but i don't think if it will be a thing like this whole thing started because someone somewhere decided to sit down and think like it was a good idea to actually tell fans to send off these actors or to receive or welcome these actors like they didn't know the long lasting impact of this whole thing because they wanted 
to show off and they wanted to show how big their actors were, how loved their actors were for them, for a way for them to gain like more brands to recognize them and more people to actually want to work with their actors and put them in their projects because they had this massive crowd of people like receiving them and sending them off either in Bangkok or in any other place in the world. So they call this upon themselves. Now, they have decided to start now changing things because now they can't control the fans or these actors don't want like huge crowds when they get home or when they are leaving and they want to actually like be low-key. Now, there is, like, every coin has two sides. Now, you can't pick and choose when the other side shows up. Like, you have to leave it to fate. Now, in that part, I'm not saying that it is entirely right for these actors to... I'm not saying it's entirely right for these fans to actually go around like the airport at 3 a.m. in the morning, at 4 a.m. in the morning, at 1 a.m. in the morning, and sneak photos of these actors or just bombard these actors with questions and cameras on their phones. But I'm also saying that you can't decide to tell a child that when you do this, like, I will give you candy. And then when they do the same thing you've asked them to do, and now when it gets the time to like give them candy, you supposedly change your mind and then you put it on the table and you expect the child won't reach to eat. When you had already promised the child or it is something that the child is used to, like after like I help mom wash my dishes, or wash the dishes. Like I go and mom gives me candy. So today, if mom doesn't give me candy, probably she has just forgotten. So let me just go and take it for myself. Like it's all about like making a person used to a certain situation or a certain circumstance. Now, that is also happening. Like fans were also calling out that. So IDF take action now is about so many things. It's about fans calling out Idol Factory and the lack of copy tests and all that because we we did see about the whole drama concerning like Becky's birthday and the gift gi the gift giving space. And then there was the whole thing about like the birthday, fan meet day and like everything about it. So like it is accumulation of so many things and fans are actually saying are tired and they want to see like results. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, turn on the post notification, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, share and tell me in the comment section like the whole thing do you actually believe that friend and becky would actually do better if they both live like idol factory and like go to other agencies or do you actually believe like they would sow and bloom if like they have no agencies and they just like work solo do you actually believe like they are ready enough to actually make it in the entertainment industry on their own without anyone apart from their managers? Again, do you actually believe like this matter of fans going to the airport at the early mornings without like them being told by Idol Factory or any agency to actually like welcome or receive these actors do you actually feel like it's an invasion of privacy or do you believe that like the fans are so used to do this like now like it is part of them and they don't see like it's anything wrong when they do it and again 
the airport is a public space so you can go there and receive anyone you want to so let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole thing do you think that idol factory will actually even listen to the fans do you feel like idol factory needs to say thank you to everything that the fans do for friend and becky only idol factory or do you think that friend and becky actually also need to be thankful for these awards because they also receive these awards so do you think that it is only fair for fans to demand a thank you from idol factory and not friend and becky because at the end of the day it's not an award that is written idol factory it is written either friend or it is written becky so let me know in the comment section if you, you feel like this tag would actually go anywhere or it will actually disappear like so many other tags that have been made for idol factory so bye guys